He lives in a house with an expensive postcode, but if Chris Moyles was there today, he wasn't coming out to answer questions about his financial affairs. It's not about you, it's about all of us. But when it came to tax, Mr Moyles was in it for himself. The former Radio 1 presenter was one of the BBC's top earners, but there was rather more to his CV. In 2008, he tried to reduce his liability through activities which sound more Del Boy than DJ. His tax return said he was flogging cars on the side. My God, I mean, the idea that someone like him um, could... Who, he must have known that his name would be known to the authorities. And to put on your tax return that you are... a part-time or, or quasi-full-time kind of used car salesman was the act of idiocy. I mean, what was he thinking of? He was thinking he could avoid handing over a whole lot of money to the tax man, and here's how. Chris Moyle signed up to a tax avoidance partnership called Working Wheels. The joining fee was £95,000. Using the system, he claimed to have sold £3,731 worth of cars, but he said he'd run up losses of a million pounds, which he then offset against the tax he owed on his half-million-pound BBC salary. And he wasn't alone. 450 celebrities, fund managers and high earners were part of the scheme run by NT Tax in London, a company which officials have locked horns with before. It's staggering that these clients, who were all of them very wealthy people with very large incomes, were willing to believe that by buying and selling the odd car, about which they knew nothing, by the way, was enough to let them claim a tax loss amounting to a million or more, in some cases much more pounds. The tribunal found that Moyles had no interest in the used car trade and joined the scheme only to make a tax saving. And the broadcaster took not to the airwaves but Twitter to respond, denying doing anything illegal but saying, I'm not a tax expert and acted on advice I was given. This was a mistake and I accept the ruling without reservation. I take full responsibility and have learned a valuable lesson. A lesson celebrities like Jimmy Carr have learned before. He admitted to an error of judgment after joining a similar scheme. Tax avoidance is thought to cost the country tens of billions of pounds a year. Where you have arrangements that are highly contrived, where, if you like, artificial losses are created in order to reduce someone's tax bill, uh, it is right that HMRC, with the support of the government, takes action to deal with that. Mr Moyles, who celebrates his 40th birthday this weekend, has been ordered to pay the tax he owes plus penalties. He'll have rather less to spend on his party. Michelle Clifford, Sky News.